We receive reports that Russian forces have reached an area just north of Ukraine's capital city. In the last several hours, Russia has invaded Ukraine. On February 24, 2022, Vladimir Putin shook the world. As we come on the air, a second evening of Russian attacks is underway in Ukraine. War returned to Europe, and the world changed overnight. This aggression cannot go unanswered. The images are heartbreaking. Buildings and hospitals destroyed, families devastated, and millions fleeing for their lives. Uh, something like this uh, shouldn't happen in the uh, 21st century. For me, this hits close to home. We're worried about some for years, I've been covering the world's biggest conflicts. CNN's Mohamed Lila joins us now. Let me bring in CNN correspondent Mohamed Lila. Our Mohamed Lila was embedded with the troops as the gunfire broke out. You know the gunfire coming from that direction. I've been shot at. So this is what's left after the airstrike. I've been held at gunpoint. Mohamed Lila, you've been doing fantastic work. And I've been on the ground in Ukraine, seeing with my own eyes how Russian soldiers were taking over big parts of the country. And it's becoming very clear that they don't want people to see what's going on. And that is why I need to tell you this. In every conflict I've been to, no matter how desperate it might seem, there is always hope. Hope that people are willing to risk it all, not because they will benefit, not because they know they're going to win, but because they know that by risking it all, they can help other people. As horrific as this war is, there is an army of people in Ukraine and right around the world who are responding with incredible acts of goodness. And if you don't believe me, let me show you exactly what I mean. Ukraine sits in the center of Europe. Its longest border is shared by Russia. And while Russia is entering the country from the east and Belarus in the north, Ukrainians are fleeing the other way, directly into Poland. The UN says the country has taken in more than 1.3 million refugees from Ukraine, and this is how they're being welcomed. Bags of clothes, food and water lining the platform with families arriving. Long lines of strollers and car seats at border train stations. Incoming Ukrainian mothers holding babies in their arms. Each stroller, each package, a gift from one mother to another. I came across this Polish Facebook page. Now, you're going to have to use Google Translate to understand it all, but when you go there, you will be floored by how many people are willing to help. It was created to connect Ukrainian refugees with the help that they desperately need. And these are some of their stories. Anita Barbara writes, An old lady, 70 years old, needs to get to France, preferably Lyon, to her daughter. Within just three hours, there were 99 comments and multiple offers to help her get there by the next day. It goes on and on, post after post, complete strangers providing transportation, food, and a safe place to stay. Just two weeks after that page was created, it already has more than 500,000 members. And help for Ukraine isn't coming from just Poland, it's coming from around the world. Strangers are booking short-term rentals in Ukraine with no intention of showing up. It's a genius way to support Ukrainians by getting money into their hands no matter where they are. And the acts of goodness themselves stretch right into the conflict zone itself. Take a look at this. Two people getting married right on the front lines, taking a break from fighting and defending their territory to say I love you at the most important point in their lives. And you've probably seen this, a young girl singing Let It Go while she is staying in a bomb shelter. Well, guess what? That young girl was transported to safety and is now living away from the war zone in Poland. Bravo, bravo. And the conductor of the Kyiv Classic Symphony Orchestra said that his musicians were playing this as an action of peace as they performed in the capital's Maidan Square on Wednesday. The war in Ukraine is constantly changing, sometimes hour by hour. Nobody knows when it's going to end, but throughout all of this devastation, there is kindness, there is hope, there is inspiration, and there is an entire world of people who want to help. So think about that the next time that you're watching the news and all you see is negative headlines. There is hope, there is positivity, and there is goodness in people everywhere. All we need to do 
is look for it. I'm still hopeful. I believe in, hu in humanity. I, I believe in good in people and that situation still can change.